So unfortunately, in my last video, um, the sound just cut out a few seconds into the video, which is really annoying. So I don't think I have time to do a full video like previously because it's like 10 to 10 here. So um, yeah, sorry about that. Am I still? Yes, I still have sound. Okay. So I'll do a few questions. I'll just redo um, the first questions. 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122. So to convert degrees to radians, you just multiply the number by pi over 180 degrees. And to convert radians to degrees, you multiply by 180 over pi. So, um, multiplying by pi over 180 so the first one would be 4 over 3 pi the second one would be 1 over 12 pi uh, the third one would be minus pi over 3 now it took me longer last time to do these because I, I know the answers now since I've calculated them there's no need for a calculator here um, the next one is minus 5 over 4 pi and then lastly 330 times um, pi over 180 that one was 11 over 6 pi then 180 uh, that's 90 degrees then the next one um, so it's just to be clear it's 7 over 6 pi times 180 over pi so that's 210 degrees and then the next one worked out to be 990 degrees. And then the next one worked out to be minus 540 degrees. And then um, the next one worked out to be 75 degrees. And I can double check some of those answers. So 4 over 3 minus pi over 3, 11 over 6 pi, 210 minus 540. So those are the first batch of questions done. And then um, the next one, the next batch. Again, I'm doing these much quicker than last time because I have the answers calculated. It's just, it's just arithmetic, really. So um, the next one, cos 4 over 3 pi. I like to um, convert that into degrees. So that would be cos 240 degrees. And then if you use the circle, 240 would be over here, uh, where cos is negative, and the same as this angle up here on the flip side, which is 60, so that's minus cos 60. And uh, cos 60 is an angle you should know, it's minus a half, so that would be a half in total. Um, sorry, I lost the minus. Minus cos 60, so minus a half. Okay, um, that was um, one, two, three. Now time for one, two, four. That tan 19 over four pi. So that's equal to tan 855. And what you have to do with 855 is subtract 360 twice to get it within range. So that's tan 135. And then tan 135 is here on the flip side of 45 degrees and it's a negative. So it's minus tan 45, which is minus one. Um, the next one, 125, that's sine minus three quarters pi, which is minus sine and then um, three quarters pi in degrees is 135 
and using the same logic as before, but it's a positive this time because it's in the, the S quadrant. So that would be sine of 45, which is root 2 over 2. Uh, and I for, forgot to carry my minus over tut tut tut. Minus here, minus there. Uh, 1, 2, 6. Sec pi over 6. Uh, sec is 1 over cos. And then pi over uh, 6. That's cos 30. Cos 30 is root 3 over 2. So that's 2 over root 3. So that's 2 root 3 over 3. Uh, okay. 1, 2, 7. Sine pi over 12. So that is sine 15, which is sine 45 minus 30, which is sine A cos B minus sine B cos A. So that's root 2 over 2, and then cos 30 is root 3 over 2 minus a half, and then root 2 over 2. That works out to be root 6 minus root 2 over 4. And then finally, 1, 2, 8. I still got sound. Yes, I do. Um, root 6 minus root 2. Oh, no, sorry. What am I doing? I'm down the previous answer. Um, cos 5 pi over 12. So that is, uh, that was cos 75. Uh, last time I did, what did I do last time? Um, last time when the sound wasn't recording, I did 45 plus 30. Yeah, we'll do that again. Cos 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. I should have a little degree symbols here. Uh, that's so that's cos a cos b minus sine a sine b so that's root 3 over 2 times a half minus root 2 over 2 times root 3 over 2 do i have that right no 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 i do not have that right because cos 30 oh wait, wait, i don't know i'm oh, come on Cos 45, root 2 over 2, and then root 3 over 2, minus root 2 over 2, and a half. So I think that would be root 6 minus root 2 over 4. Let's check the answers at the back. So I have the answer for 1, 2, 3, minus a half, then minus root 2 over 2, and then... 1, 2, 7, uh, is it? 1, 2, 7, oh, interesting, yeah, it's not, oh, yeah, it wasn't rationalized, yeah, so that would be root 6 minus root 2 over 4, yep, that looks right to me, so, yeah, okay, these look, these look okay, so I'm not going to tempt fate and do any more, um, I'm going to stop the video there, um, shorter than normal, only because I've literally just done the questions and I know what the you don't have to waste your time doing fraction division and calculations and simplifying so we'll just leave it there